All right, back with another prospecting video. And in this video, I want to share exactly how you can find and enrich prospects who are interested or likely to be interested in a solution that you have. So this is one of the triggers that I use quite often. Uh, and this trigger, I'm looking at the engaged content. So people that I've either liked or shared posts on LinkedIn that other influencers in the industry that I serve have been posting. So the way to do this, we need to use Phantom Buster, LinkedIn, and also Clay to enrich the data. And I'm gonna take you through all those steps in the next few minutes. So first of all, just for context, this is the company that I'm prospecting for. They do product onboarding reviews for SaaS companies. Now it's actually quite hard to find the people who are interested or in charge of onboarding as a lot of different roles within different organizations, depending on the size, um, are responsible for it. So it could sometimes be the head of growth, sometimes it's the head of product, and if it's a smaller company, it's often the co-founder or the founder of the, of, of the software itself. However, what I've done is I've found three or four different posts on LinkedIn where people are talking about product onboarding or user onboarding as it's also known. You can see I've just put them into a very simple spreadsheet here. There's no other information other than the links to the posts themselves. And here's just a couple of examples. So Andrew Kaplan, very well known in the user onboarding space. He's going to be launching a user onboarding program or a user onboarding course. So I'm gonna take the assumption that anybody that's engaging with this post might be a good fit for the product on borders. Another example here is Wes Bush, who literally wrote the book on product led and co-wrote the book with Ramley on uh, product onboarding. He's also talking about user onboarding. So I can see that this post has over uh, 31 uh, likes. This post has over 56 likes as well. So. I want to now find who these people are that are liking this post to see whether they fit the criteria that I'm looking to then sell into. So I'm using a tool called Phantom Buster for this. It's a great tool to automate and scrape a lot of that prospecting data, especially when you've found the specific triggers that you want to use in your outreach. So you can see here, I've just gone through the setup here. So I've posted in the URL to this document, which is my the product onboarding list. These are just the four uh, posts. There was two more that I didn't share. Click save. I wanna remove duplicate profiles between different posts. So that's fine, click save, launch it, uh, sorry, once only, and then I can hit launch. Now I've already done this and I found 128 people that liked those posts and there were obviously multiple people who liked different posts as well. So now that's where Clay comes in. So I haven't got their email addresses, I've only got their LinkedIn profiles. So in Clay, I've got their first name, their full name. Uh, I've had to add in the company URL as well because in order to find the email address, you need to have the full name as well as the company URL. But using Clay, I can automate all of this process and I'm using a waterfall or workflow technique that it looks through different uh, providers of emails and if it can't find, if one of the providers can't find it, then it moves on to the next one. So if I just show you um, here, you can see that I've got the validated work emails in all for, for all of the prospects here. Now it's not gonna find every prospect, which is okay. Maybe I just send out a LinkedIn message to these people rather than an email. But for now, I've got the email addresses of the majority of the people that I've searched for. Now I can of course run this for the rest of the, um, the, rest of the sheet as well. But just for this video demonstration to show you how simple it is to not only find the prospects and prospects that might be interested, then also enrich them in clay using Phantom Buster to export that. Now, you might ask what message am I gonna send? I've got two options here. One, I could mention that I saw that they liked the post and mention the, po the uh, person's name who wrote the original post, or I can just not mention it at all. But I know that the message that I'm gonna send them is relevant because they're already interested in user onboarding or product onboarding. In the case now, I'm actually gonna send emails where I'm not mentioning the fact that I saw that they liked Andrew's post or I saw that they liked Wes's po uh, post. I'm just gonna go straight into a specific pain point that they have and one of the challenges and the implications of not solving that pain point and alluding to a solution which goes back to being the product on borders and the review service that I offer there. So very quick video, I think under five minutes, how to find people that are potentially interested in your solution, how to export them from LinkedIn, how to enrich them in Clay to find their email addresses. All I'd need to do now is export them from Clay, import them into my cold email sending software, and I'm good to go.